Hello, hello, and welcome to another Is It Rigged? Of course, we got another 18650 uh, battery pack opening, but uh, stick around and see what we got coming up. So what we have for you guys today, we have, of course, the ring battery pack. They have two 18650s, either Panasonic or LGs. And as you see over here, I've been tearing a few of these apart. I think that's probably a couple hundred packs. And if you see right here, uh, I've got another box of those. I've got close to about a thousand of these. So and they're a little bit of a pain to open. And I also want to talk about these charging boards that everybody uh, is buying and charging their um, um, 18650s with. Um, kind of worry me a little bit. I, I did uh, get the, um, the board design from this guy he does not reflect these little charging modules he built a good board and I uh, ordered mine in blue um, from jail uh, PCB to match the little uh, charging chip so all right so let's get started just want to kind of go over everything with you and talk about these as well all right so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab some gloves, just because we are working with some object that you do have a potential of uh, hurting yourself or harming yourself. And by the way, while you're watching, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, click that like button, give me a thumbs up, and turn on that notification bell. That way you'll get a notification whenever we're uh, doing a new video. Let me get my gloves on. And what we want to talk about are these battery packs to start off with before we get into the chargers as I showed you er earlier these are the ring they are model number version 4 they are 3.65 and it says 6 60 40 I'm trying to read at an angle milliamp hour which would be 22.046 watt hour they either have the Panasonic grab one then we either have the Panasonic NCR18650. Or they've got two different models of these LGs. You'll have the uh, INR18650D2s. And I've already charged these. Or you'll have the uh, LG. ABD21865. That's the three model types that you will have in these uh, uh, packs. So I'm going to show you how I open these up and we'll go from there. So what I like to do is to get a good pair of sharp side cutters. And that one's kind of hollow. Now, the reason why I say that is this is one I was trying to open up earlier. Hear how solid that sounds? How hollow that one sounds. So the, the, the solid ones are very hard to open. Uh, they, you do get a good mix of the sales. Uh, I have tested a lot of the sales. They are coming out really good. Uh, just as an example here, 2146. And 3121. There's some uh, 3000. I've got one that's at 2900 uh, milliamps. So, uh, but so what I want to do is when you find these hollow ones, these right here work the best. And there's a seam. So, um, what I like to do is go right on that seam. And it pops right open now you can't go in very far you can you see how close that cell is to the cover so 
So now what I like to do as well is when they are a little bit difficult like this one, take me a screwdriver, just go right on that edge. Don't push in too hard, don't put too much force. And that's the reason why you get gloves, so you don't jab yourself in the hand. All right. Now this would be a version, uh, they've got two different versions of the boards. This one is what I call the green version. Uh, it, it has uh, one connector here on the back, and I've just been cutting that off. And then on the front, these are spot welded. And in the center they have their temperature sensor. Now, with the green boards, you want see the captain tape holding the uh, the sensor on it's just simply glued and what I've been doing here on these is either sometimes just go ahead and pull them all the way off and that leaves me with my two cells to finish tearing apart getting the nickel strips off Sometimes with the gloves on, it does make things a little bit more difficult. All right, here is the blackboard version, which is one I kind of like working with a little bit easier. Uh, and it has, it's kind of like a little small BMS, but it's more like a charge connector per se. And uh, you have your one wire going to the top to read the temperature from the top. You have your one wire going to the back to read your uh, uh, battery voltage. I believe I said temperature. This would be not to be voltage. And then you have your center uh, temperature. And then this is a, a flexible cable. And I just simply try to go up to the front and wedge both of those out. All right. Now, see the captain tape you having on and with the glue holding the temperature sensor on so what I'll do take that see if I can pull the sensor out and I'll simply cut here the reason why I like having both of these is because it gives me the ability of keeping these together so they don't come apart like these so I can stack them pretty fast, go through them, and then come back and clean them up. All right, let me speed up here. All right, done. So, but I want to bring on one that's gonna be a little bit harder to do, just to show you. That one's gonna be pretty easy. That one's gonna be pretty easy and I can show you. Now I'm just going ever so slightly, maybe a quarter of an inch in on that seam. And 
I apologize that I keep sniffling right in your ear. Down here in the south on the Gulf of Mexico, it is a super allergy time. All right, so let me see if I can. That one's a little bit more solid. It's just not going to work. So with these little act pliers, which I'll leave a description down below, is I've been taking it right in the middle where that screw hole is, taking one ear of the plier and putting it in there, essentially bending it down. And see, these are the very difficult cases. There's really no other way around it on these super difficult cases. Some people are using a, um, a vise to put them in and then they're wedging them up. That might work. Uh, I have not tried that because uh, I've been normally moving through these pretty fast. Here we go. We got the green version board. <laughs> that one popped right out. Make sure there's no wires on it to short out. So let me clean up my bench. We'll come back and talk about the little 18650 chargers. All right, so let's get back to the TP4056. What I wanted to say my part was, was the board that uh, Philip here made, it's a good board. I have no issues with the board that he designed for the TP4056. The TP4056 is my issue. I ordered 50 of these. And the problem I've ran into, yes, I have them diode protected, is I do not get a consistent 4.20 volts on charging uh, these boards. Um, when I assembled these, I went through and I selected out of all of these and I put on top of that, I put uh, four trays of these together and I'll throw a picture in, but, and I selected out of the, the 16 charging ports, all the ones that were putting out 4.20 volts. And I was very lucky out of the hundred I had, I had exactly 16 of them. And, uh, Here's what the uh, TP4056 looks like. Some people just use these particular uh, little modules to charge their uh, um, their batteries with just a cell holder. They'll just simp without without the the fillet board. They'll just you know run a wire from here to you know positive and negative. But what I've ran into is these modules they do not charge correctly so i was ready to throw out probably around a thousand batteries that had processed through my charger setup that i had set up and no it's not the power supply as you see in the picture that uh, each one of these i've got a, a five amp uh, i'm sorry a five volt 60 amp charger for these and uh, I was about ready to throw the batteries away because I thought they were dropping voltage they were self dis discharging that was not the case so just be aware that's all I want to uh, you know notify you of get you a good charger you know get you an opus get you a um, they even the uh, the uh, night core they're a good charger you could go with the uh oh man there's so many good brand chargers out there uh there's a lot of lithium chargers just make sure to get you a good lithium 18650 charger i would stay away from these because you're going to go back and, you're, and when you go back to test them they're not charging adequately and you're going to be getting rid of a lot of batteries so you know they make good for pre-charging but uh, 
to me that's doubling up but if you want to pre-charge you can use these but when you want to go back to look for self-discharge not the good thing that's what i think of them and those as well so just my two cents uh you know there may be some people that don't think that my um knowledge is is good enough and that's perfectly okay but who cares again no junk i'm sorry junk good cell holders good board and i'm thinking about changing i'm thinking about designing a board for this uh down the road depends on how all my processing goes right now i am using the opus and I, I recently just purchased uh, quite a few of these uh, uh, sand flares. I know the sand flares do read a little bit higher. Uh, matter of fact, I've got uh, a couple of them over here processing as I'm testing these sand flares. Uh, I know that they do test a little bit higher uh, than the Opus. Um, they are a little bit slower. But then again, I can buy... Ready? I can buy two uh, sand flares for one Opus. And I, the opuses that I am running at this point is the uh, 3400. So, yep, good chargers. But what I've been doing, and I don't know how well I can reach this over here. I'll unplug it. I've been doing some charging with just the Nikor. Works really good just for charging. So, um... That's my two cents on some chargers. Now, in a, in a few videos, I will break out different chargers that I've used, that I've tested, I know that works, and I will be working on a new circuit board for this that I'm going to develop, and uh, that will get to 4.2 volts. And we'll work on seeing about, maybe in the long run, see if we can do some discharging. I do have a, a couple orders in for the Megacell charger, so we'll see when we get that, if we get it. But uh, we'll see. All right, guys. Again, Michael with Is It Rigged. Make sure you like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you...